some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. We found ourselves in Fairboard, Ohio, with Ty from Jim City News, as he attempts to film inside of a courthouse, only to be immediately ejected. Well, perhaps you should have done your research on whether or not it was okay to film inside the courthouse before you walked in there. But hey, what do you expect from these frauditors anyway? What, the ability to think for themselves? Nah, they can't do that because all their brain matter collectively wouldn't be able to fill a thimble. So on that note, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I was driving down the road from the police station, and I seen this thing that says Fairborn Municipal Court up on it. My friend Craig would say, never miss an opportunity. So let's walk around and see what we got. Oh, so you saw this place sitting on the side of the road in your travels, so you decided to stop and annoy these people, hoping for a quick buck. Well, looking at your view count right here from when it was posted 10 days ago, you've only gotten 2,000 views. My man, that is just pathetic. Just like your whole sad life in frauditing. Nothing but a waste of time. I'm all right. How are you? I'm blessed. My name is Brian. Um, you're actually not allowed to be back here. Oh, sure. It's okay, Brian. There's no signs. That it says parking. No, actually, I'll show you this sign right here. Authorized personnel parking only. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not parked. I know, but what I'm saying is, you're walking through our parking lot. Uh huh. If you're going somewhere, that's fine. But it doesn't appear that you're going somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to go over there, and then I'm going to come back this way, and then I'm probably going to go back around the front and come in the front door. Okay. I'm going I'm, I'm to just explain this to you. There may be somebody else that comes back here and talks to you about this, but you're not allowed to be back here. That's all I'm telling you. We would have to get the signs changed because I'm an American citizen. This is part of America. Uh -oh. I am too. You know, it wouldn't matter what kind of sign was there anyway because I've seen this guy look at signs that say authorized personnel only and he'll say it's unconstitutional. But you know what? I've come to expect that from you idiotic frauditors. A sign says one thing, it's unconstitutional. A sign says another thing, it's not right. Uh, wah, 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 why don't you cry like a little damn baby? Get it over with. Yeah, I just didn't sign my rights away. No, no, neither did I. Yeah, you did. Absolutely. I mean, that's You're, you, you have limited civil rights when you sign on to be security or police officers. So, civil? Huh? Yeah, yeah, like you can't just say whatever you want. You have limited free speech. Sure. Okay. Go post something nasty about people on Facebook and see what happens. No, that's just facing the consequences for speaking your mind on a particular topic. Take, for example, whenever I worked at Walmart, I saw people get fired from that store because they were on Facebook talking nasty about their employers. So they ended up getting fired as a result of using their free speech. They weren't censored. They just paid the price for what they said. Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't even have Facebook. Right. I don't yeah, even have but, Facebook. So. Oh, and that's smart in this day and age because, like I said, you guys kind of give up some of your rights. Okay. Well, like I told you, you're not allowed to be back here, so there may be somebody else who comes back here and talk to you. So okay. Just letting you know. Well, right. I appreciate you honoring your oath, Brian. Is that your car? Yes, sir. And I think it's my car. If that is truly your car, then why don't you take it out for a drive around the block and see how that works out in your favor? Because that would be very much entertaining. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. You're not allowed in the building with the camera or your cell phone. Why not? Well, you want to know why? Well, you should have looked it up yourself. It took me only five minutes to find the rules of that courthouse online. And here's one of those rules that pertains to your question. And I would imagine one of the biggest reasons why 
There's staff rule is because of jurors being exposed. You've got sensitive conversations going on that I'm sure wouldn't need to become public because of attorney-client privilege. I mean, that kind of thing, not to mention that courthouses are non-public forums. I mean, come on now. You gotta think these things through. I mean, you gotta use your head for something other than a doorstop. Just like it says. Okay. That's the best you can do? It's judges, it's, uh, the judge can write an order for their courtroom. Nowhere else. You know, it's funny that you people like to say that uh, judges' orders cannot go beyond the courtroom. Then why is it that you guys always spout off rulings by judges that go way beyond their courtroom and affect people's lives out in everyday life? Especially rulings and orders that you completely agree with. Isn't that convenient? A nice little hypocrisy that you like to live with, isn't it? Well, I'm not arguing with that. I'm not that. Uh, you don't have to. It's not an illegal sign. It doesn't state the statute. Unless you can show me the written policy, the written law. That's her policy. This is the judge's policy. Okay, so you're going to deny me my civil rights. Well, you can't come in here with that. You're more than welcome to come in here, but you can't come in here with that. Okay. If you people didn't have anything to hide, it wouldn't be a big deal. And if you frauditors had the ability to use logic and reason, it wouldn't be a big deal. I need to say, I'm just going to his words. Well, at least you know that much. Okay. You work for the public. You cannot keep the public out. Bottom line. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to argue with you. You don't have to you. argue with me. Uh, it's it's not an argument. Right. I'm not the Supreme you. Court rules this land. The it's, Supreme Court of the I'm Sixth District rules. rules this building right here, and they've ruled that I'm allowed to come in here and document what goes on and record my government people in their, in, in their course of their duties. Okay? You have cameras everywhere. Whoa, dude, that was some shady editing with that jump cut. Could you make it less obvious next time you are uh, trying to hide the truth from everybody? I mean, the, come on now, get a bit more creative than that. Phone in your pocket? Sir, dude. Yeah, so, you're hypocrites. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! You just told those people to go all the way back to their like car. I said, the rule's right there. But it's not a good rule. I, I said, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. I, said, I just follow what the judge's rules are. Okay, and which jack wagon judge wrote that rule? Judge Kachari. Okay. And your name is? My name is Gerald Tell. Okay. There's the first page. And you are denying me entry into this courthouse, right? No, I'm not, sir. I just told you that. You can't come in with the phone or the camera. Okay, it's semantics. You're still denying me from coming in. Don't worry now, the video is almost over with because we've got his walk of shame to take care of now. So let's go ahead and roll that clip. Okay. Nope. Thank you very much. You'll be seeing me again. little frauditor. Maybe we should send him a sympathy card along with a tube of butter cream to ease the pain in his ass. Well, somebody should anyway. Not me, because I really don't care. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.